more women come forward, target Hillary and Bernie campaigns. Two women who worked for the campaigns of failed Democrat presidential candidate Hillary Clinton and Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders have come forward to charge that fellow campaign workers sexually harassed them. According to the Huffington Post, Lillian Adams, who was 19 when she worked for the Clinton campaign, and Zoe Jordan Salisbury, who was 18 when she volunteered for Sanders, allege they were victims of unwanted sexual advances. And the campaigns did little or nothing to help. Adams began an internship in October 2015. In May 2016, she relocated to Colorado, where she worked as a paid organizer. She said that it was after she moved to Colorado that another campaign worker harassed her. The harassment began with homophobic remarks, because he knew she was bisexual, which escalated into intimidation. He made multiple comments about my body, told people we were dating, would constantly try to get me to drink, I was 19, try to force me into situations where we were alone, encouraged me not to wear bras, etc., Adams told the Huffington Post. Adams complained about the harassment and the harasser was fired. Adams thought that was the end of it, and while she wasn't harassed anymore, she was surprised to discover that the harasser was rehired in another state. Adams was disappointed and disillusioned. You have a lot of young passionate people who want to help change the world through democratic politics, she said. Older democratic operatives see this passion and exploit it putting us in an extremely stressful and unhealthy work environment, she added. Clinton aides did not respond to questions, the Huffington Post reported. Salisbury volunteered as the president of American University students for Bernie. She said a college-aged intern sexually harassed her by making sexual advances toward her. Salisbury said the campaign lacked a clear grievance policy and she didn't know how to go about reporting the harassment. She added that she didn't think that anyone would believe her. Salisbury told the Huffington Post that the Sanders campaign contacted her after she posted about the incident on social media. Seattle-based lawyer Bernice Johnson Blessing called her on behalf of the campaign. It firmly felt like the kind of call you make when you're trying to feel out if someone has the interest and or standing to bring a lawsuit, said Salisbury. She said she felt like she was being blamed throughout the conversation. According to the Huffington Post, Sanders' office said volunteers were not provided with a handbook detailing the process for reporting harassment, but that the office plans to change change that policy in the future. These are just the latest allegations to hit the Democratic Party, and they are shameful. If either the Clinton or Sanders campaigns were the actual champions of women that they claim to be, they would have taken these allegations seriously and dealt with them. Instead, they were handled with relocating harassers or curt phone calls that sound like fishing expeditions. Either way, these campaigns failed at taking care of a serious problem that appears to affect a great deal of Democrats. The truth is coming out now.